Hey mi gente, it's Graciela and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mommy edition get ready with me and let's just not talk too much and let's just get started into this video. The first thing is that I'm going to be using is this um, headband. Um, I like to put my hair back and I start applying makeup and everything like that so let's get back to it. The rest of the video is just going to be an over voice, so I'm just going to be and get ready because I really have to go. So let's just get to it. So the first thing what I am applying is my moisturizer. It's very important that you moisturize your face because then you'll feel your skin very dry and it's not good when you apply makeup on top of your skin that's dry. Um, it can crack your skin and you want to avoid that. Next thing I'm going to be using is the Tatcha Soak Canvas and this is a protective primer which Illuminates your skin all day and night, which is pretty awesome before applying makeup and it feels so great on my skin Thank you, baby for getting this for me. This is like my first product ever, but yes, I'm playing this on The next thing I'm going to be using is the Illuminous Dewy Skin Mist, which is really more for boosting the hydrating of your skin and making it glow. Then I'm going to be going in with my brows. You know that my brows got to be on fleek before I actually go out the house. And I'm using the Wet n Wild. And I'm not too crazy about it, but when I'm just going to do a really quick errand, this is what I kind of use. But it's okay. I mean, I don't want to like say something bad about it, but it's okay. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Wet n Wild Concealer. I am really obsessed with this concealer. It's very affordable. You can get it at any pharmacy. And the amazing part about this is that it has a brush, you can apply it on, and again, it's super affordable. I love using this, it's like my to-go, when I want to do this quick makeup look, it's the best. So if you guys like to try it and use it, go ahead, it's, it's pretty good. I'm also going to be applying a little bit on my inner under eyes, which is going to eliminate a little bit of the darkness that I have under my eyes. And then I'm going to put some Laura Mercier and top it off. The next thing I'm going to go in with is with my foundation. This is my everyday foundation. It is super, it feels great on my skin. And I just like to apply it very light on my skin just to make it seem a little bit less foundation and less cakey on my skin. But it is super affordable as well. And it doesn't wear off, which is the really good thing about this foundation. So. I would suggest that you guys try it even if it's just for an everyday thing. Go ahead and try it. And yeah. I am also going to be putting a little bit of translucent powder just because I do crease under the eyes. So if you do crease under the eyes after a foundation, you can go ahead and apply translucent powder. One of my favorite all time is this Hoola bronzer. I've been using this for many years already. Not, not many years. Let's say for about a year or two. And I am absolutely loving this. I gotta get me a new one. And it just applies very well on the skin and I really really like the color. It kind of suits me very well.
I am also applying it on my nose. This is just like a quick little swap on my nose. I normally use a smaller brush just to contour it very well, but it's a run and go. And yes, so I received this blush from BoxyCharm and ever since I tried it, it's been my to go. This is like my everyday blush. It is the perfect color for me and I am obsessed with it. Oh, I love this spray so much. If you guys haven't tried it, go ahead. It smells like strawberries. It is the best smell ever. And now I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of mascara. And this is, of course, Maybelline mascara. And this is just a affordable mascara. And I love it because it's just like my everyday, like I said. Unless like I actually didn't go to a party, then I use a different one, but I absolutely love this mascara. Now, I'm going to be finishing this look with a little bit of highlight. You cannot go wrong with a little bit of highlight. I love my face that glows. It just brings out the look a little bit much better. And I've been using this palette for a really long time. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. It just has great colors. And the last thing I'm going to be using is just a regular gloss. Um, I had this gloss for a little while. I don't know the name of it, so I do apologize for that. But any gloss would go good with this style and I hope that this look you guys can also achieve it I am obsessed with this look oh my god like super simple super easy and this literally took me about 15 minutes and I was out the door and this is the final look I hope that you guys enjoy watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like give it a thumbs up and comment down below and comment down below what you guys thought of this video. Also, please turn on that notification button so that you guys can be alerted of my next video. And I'll see you guys next week. Besitos. Nos vemos. Bye.